Facebook loses Disney Plus ad dollars amid deportation. As Facebook deals with a joint advertising boycott by civil rights groups, the social network has reportedly lost a significant amount of business from Disney, one of its largest advertisers. The Wall Street Journal reported Saturday that the entertainment giant has slashed its advertising spending on Facebook. The cuts include a break for ads for high-profile streaming service Disney Plus and the suspension of ads for Hulu, another streaming service on Facebook owned by Instagram, the journal said, adding that the timeline for the cuts is unclear. The news came amid a number stop had a for-profit campaign, a boycott of the social network to do more to combat hate speech and misinformation. Brands that have publicly joined the boycott include Microsoft, Verizon, Volkswagen and Sony Interactive. Unlike those brands, Disney did not make a public statement but quietly downplayed Facebook ads, the journal said. The campaign was launched by a team of civil rights organizations, including the Anti-Defamation League and the NIACP. For the first six months of this year, the journal claimed that Disney was Facebook's top publisher and ranked second after Home Depot in 2019. A major part of Disney's marketing costs is the Disney Plus, the journal estimates, with Disney estimating $210 million on Facebook ads for service in the US. Disney is concerned about Facebook implementing its policies around offensive content, the journal said. The boycott organizers met with Facebook executives last week, including CEO Mark Zuckerberg, but company leaders said they provided the same old talking points to try to pacify us. Facebook said in a statement at the time that they want Facebook to be free of hate speech, and so are we. So it's important that we work hard to get this right. Disney did not immediately respond to CNET's request for comment on the journal's Saturday report. A Facebook spokesperson told CNET in a statement that the social network spends billions of dollars annually to keep users safe and to work with outside experts to review and improve its policies. We know we still have a lot of work to do, and we will continue to work with civil rights groups and other professionals will develop even more tools, technology and approaches to continue this fight.